Hey guys, Chad again here from CNR Reviews, and this is the thousand round review, um, basically final review for the Sega 12 gauge. Um, it's got around a thousand rounds now. Um, after getting this uh, MDV plug um, finally installed, where I could shoot uh, low brass, um, I ended up picking this gun up initially for around 625 bucks, 650 bucks, somewhere around there. After all said and done, this is over a thousand dollar shotgun. You have a CAA um, 4N grip, you have the UTG quad rail, you can pick these guys up for about, uh, this grip is about 20 bucks, the quad rail is about 80 bucks, comes with two separate different types of rails, and I really, I went with this instead of like a chaos rail, and that is, was mainly because the chaos rail version where you could actually mount a scope further back, um, was like 200 and some odd bucks. This guy uh, was like 80 bucks off off uh, off Amazon. So it's got a uh, what is it? A SGM Tactical. Um, I think it's called the Saber Boss or one of them uh, muzzle brake. And I don't know if it's really heavy enough to really help with recoil, but I like the way it looks. And don't don't mess with me if I'm if I don't have any bullets in there. I'm gonna stab the shit out of you with this. Um, it's got a EOTech. Uh, 512. This is the one with the AA batteries. This is actually a, um, a new addition to the gun. I originally had a BSA red dot scope that I had uh, purchased from Cabela's. thing held up great, but uh, I think this is a better replacement for it. It's a lot easier to get um, sighted in and it seems to keep it zero. Um, I've got the Dragon Off stock with the uh, nice cheek rest on it. This cheek rest does move. Let's see if I can hold this like that snaps into different positions. You could go ahead and drop it if you're going to use iron sights. And what's nice about the UTG quad rail is you can actually still see iron sights. So if you drop it, if you want to see the iron sights, it fully rotates all the way around if you want to get it out of the way. Um, but it's a nice thing. And then I have a decelerator pad, um, recoil pad from uh, Packamore. And uh, this thing is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Um, this thing does not kick as much as a Remington 870. But, I have rapid fire slugs out of this, and you can see the uh, ass kicking rapid fire video we got. And uh, it, it, it actually gave me a bruise. I ended up having that bruise for like three weeks. It looked like I, I, I had gotten kicked by a freaking horse in the shoulder. Um, it was not, not forgiving at all. So I went out and I bought that decelerator pad. Since then, going to the range is night and day. Um, it, it is a huge difference. It doesn't quite fit perfectly on here, but you know I kind of need to trim a little section, but it does pretty good. You can flip it around if you want it set differently. Um, other than that, um, after so many rounds with this gun, wear and tear, I, there's very little wear and tear. Just a little bit of the finish is maybe coming off um, in certain areas, but it's no more than what like a pistol would be. And drop that bolt. Um, I've been extremely happy with it. It's so easy to clean. It takes apart the same way as a normal AK-47 and with this UTG quad rail you can easily still do it. As far as getting off the dust cover, basically you just pop it, pull it out through the rear and I can still get to everything without having to move something up or reinstall something or whatever. So that's actually really come in handy. Initially this is a this is a um, aircraft aluminum I believe and I was worried it would scratch the dust cover, but as you can see, the dust cover's fine. It's got no scratches on it. So, um, other than that, like I said, it takes down the same way as the AK. You put it back together the same way as the AK. Let's see if I can actually get it together with my left arm like that. Oops. Nope, I'm gonna go and I gotta turn it this way. <laughs> I'm not used to doing it on that side. Um, but anyways, it's extremely simple takedown. And as far as cleaning goes, it's an AK. That's all I can say. It's extremely easy. Um, you can remove the gas plug, remove the gas tap it, and literally put a bore snake all the way through the, the gas block area. Um, the barrel seems to not really get that dirty either. Um, you gotta shoot like 50, 60 rounds with shotgun shells and then it starts uh, taking its toll on it. But um, if you didn't clean this overnight or you didn't clean it after 50 rounds and went back to the range, guess what? It's still going to fire. Uh, it, it is a tried and true reliable shotgun. 
Um, and I would definitely compare it to like the, the USAA or the USAS-12. Um, I know it's not a full automatic and I know it doesn't have the recoil buffers in it like the USAS does. But you can get a 20 round, 30 round drum for this thing. And you can send just as much firepower downrange. So, um, initially when I had purchased the weapon, I couldn't shoot target loads. There's a lot of people that have that same issue. Um, and I ended up purchasing the MDV plug, gas plug, and I couldn't be happier with it. On the number five setting, um, I can finally cycle target loads. It's not like it's creating gas. Um, all it's doing is redirecting the gas. So when you look at the original you know, gas plug, you know, check out the MDV plug review and I'll go over that with you. Um, but other than that, I've, I've purchased Surefire mags, a lot of these accessories and stuff like the stock and the, the muzzle brake. Um, a lot of the stuff I purchased from carolinashootersupply.com. Check them out if you can. These guys are awesome, extremely fast shipping and handling. And uh, they've got a crap load of Sega uh, info on there. Not only that, they have installation videos if you want to convert the gun. Now, if you're asking why I didn't convert this, um, to be honest with you, really don't want to. Um, the gun seems to function fine without being converted. I know it would look badass. I know it would look great and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Um, unfortunately, the range I go to, there's a lot of old timers walking around. And a lot of the older guys, uh, if there's any type of change or anything looks funny, they kind of seem to be dicks about everything. So if it's going to keep me out of trouble, keep them from questioning me, um, if I'm not going to have to fight with doing it. And, and again, a lot of people send these guns in. These guns are expensive enough, especially when you start throwing accessories on there. This gun right here has got about $1,300 worth of, worth of stuff on it right now with the weapon itself. Um, and when you start sending this thing in to have people dick around with it, and you're talking another two or three hundred, plus you're having people convert it, and that's another two or three hundred, um, you're talking a two thousand dollar shotgun. And for two thousand dollars, you can buy two or three of these, keep it standard, and just have a freaking blast. So that's my point of view. Anyways, this is the thousand round final review on the uh, Sega 12. I couldn't be happier. This is a great gun. If you're going to look at Segas, uh, they make a crap load of different weapons, and it's, they're definitely worth checking out. Um, anyways, this is Chad from CNR Reviews. Let me know if you got any questions on it. More than happy to answer. Thanks, and have a great day.